history in the books. Donald Trump wasted no time booking an event in the upstate. The current Republican frontrunner held a big rally tonight in Pendleton, and WYFF News 4's Patrick Hushin was there. In his 19th visit to the state of South Carolina, Donald Trump arrived here in Pendleton today at T. Ed Garrison Arena. This arena is has a dirt surface. It's used for uh, handling livestock and such. And when he arrived, he said, what kind of building is this anyways? He said, it's cold in here. And then he got down to delivering that familiar message to the crowd. Less than 24 hours from winning New Hampshire, Trump had the South Carolina poll numbers on his mind. By the way, the original polls, which just came out here, we're through the roof. We are high. We are high. Right now, Trump averages a 16-point lead in South Carolina polling. According to Real Clear Politics, 35% Trump, 19% Senator Ted Cruz. And here, he talked money numbers, tens of millions of dollars in fundraising he says he's turned down. No, I don't want it. I want to do something else. I want to be greedy, but I want to be greedy for the United States. We want to bring money into the United States. I really do. We have 179,000 criminal, illegal immigrants. Can't have it, folks. They're going back. And rare for a rally this size, Trump also took audience questions and even autographed a copy of his book. Oh, what a book. He's got the cheap version, see? Okay, man, here you go. Ready? Now, during the rally, it was announced by his team that former chairman of the South Carolina Ports Authority, Bill Stern, will be endorsing Donald Trump. Uh, a member of his team told me that Stern has been known to support Jeb Bush and Senator Lindsey Graham in the past, so potentially a big endorsement for Donald Trump just 10 days out from the South Carolina primary. In Pendleton, Patrick Hushin, WIFF News 4.